Hey, that's the only part of that song that I have so far. But it was really short, I just realized. So, um... <clears throat> here. Bye. Do not resist the beat. I have now finished enough of my food where I feel like I'll be good. I, I just made Thanksgiving leftovers, the meal, part two. Um, 
So, hello everybody, welcome back to another Lawman stream, hope you're doing well. <clears throat> I seriously need a playlist, I, keep having, I can't keep having to go to the VODs to listen. There, I mean, uh, uh, I plan soon on getting a playlist organized, but I wanted to, I wanted to like finish my quote unquote album. I have, uh, three more songs that I want to do, um, that I'm working on and... I don't know. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Um, and then we'll we'll release that as like, and then maybe we can just keep updating it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that'll be that'll be like my royalty free uh, songs playlist that I made. So literally can never be claimed except if I claim myself, which would be it, that's just a wild power move. You know, I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, but anyways, hello. <clears throat> Gotta make a SoundCloud debut. I think I'm gonna try and get it on Spotify. Cause fuck SoundCloud. I've I've literally never used SoundCloud for anything and it's bad and stinky. So I'll try to get it on Spotify, because I know a way to do that. Um So yeah, anyway, so I'll, yeah, the theme of it is basically all these songs are kind of inspired by Callus Row. Where, like, I have, um, here, where is it? Um, 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 this one? This is the, like, synthwave, kind of like, Goldman themed one. Wait. We have to stop Mr. Goldman. And so there's that one. And so the idea is like all these coincide with something to do with Kalos Rose. So like obviously the horny one. Is inspired by the strip club. Um this shutdown one. Hold on. Let me skip forward a bit. Where does it happen? This one's inspired by like the junky robots of the wasteland. And if we're being honest, this one, the hot hot one is also inspired by the strip club. Um but then I have three more that I'm working on. One of them is inspired by the Wodo Cube monster that we fought last session. Um, and then another one is inspired by just walking around, uh, which I know sounds stupid as hell, but that's the one that I played at the, the intro. I'll play it one more time. It's really short. This is just walking around, feeling good. Like, you know, you woke up today and you're not tired. Rare thing. Uh, you got your best clothes on. You got your nice, fresh watch. Uh. Check the time. Yeah, you're gonna be to work on time. Uh. In fact, you got time to stop for your favorite bagel place for breakfast. Uh. Oh, who's that? Who's that attractive person that just walked by you? Boom, hit him with the finger snap, uh, like Spider-Man 3 point. Uh. Yeah. Stroll into the office building. The receptionist greets you with a big smile, dude. She knows who you are. She knows what you do around here. Pass a few co-workers. They all give you a thumbs up. One hand to a drink of water. Ugh. Heading up the elevator to the office. You're gonna get some fucking work done today, baby. Alright, anyways. <laughs> That's, uh... That's all work in progress. And then the- oh, so I made the intro. I'll, I'll show you guys the intro for the Wodo Cube monster one. And then we'll get in game. I'm sorry, it's taking forever. Um, but this was meant to be- this was a really, really weird thing. Um, but I feel like the Wodo Cube monster deserves it. Um, so the intro... Well, you'll figure it out. 
meant to be spooky. Run. Anyways, so that's the cube monster one. I, I'm going to clean up the drop a bit, but it was super weird to do the breathing. This was like my third take of it, and I, by the end of this, I was so lightheaded. <laughs> And then the end bit run I, I'll probably get a different take of that but <laughs> I did I was literally I was lightheaded after doing this part and then that that run was all I could get out and I'll probably clean up the drop of it anyways that's all for now um yep close that close that Robo Sun wrap oh <laughs> You mean, <laughs> uh, I don't have anything inspired for uh, Ross's character yet, no, but I get what you mean. Um, okay, into game. Let's do this. So, this is the last day of SpaceCon uh, for 2020. Um, you fucked me, Ricky! I, I might get a quote, <clears throat> if, if I can, from a stream of me yelling that. <laughs> You fuck me, Ricky. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, yeah. So, last day of SpaceCon. There's the I think it's Crusader Industries and uh, Robert Space Industries right now. Two industries. I just realized. Um, and they got some unique ships, including one which just got announced, which was the Perseus, which is this big boat. Uh, that I, w I really want to check out. Um, Origin in RSI? Oh. Well, I lost the... <laughs> I missed my chance for the other one. I think I went to every SpaceCon day, in like myself, in-game. Um, but I didn't stream all of them. Um, this one, I haven't... I, I made sure, because today was going to be the last one, and I was going to do a stream of it for sure. Um... I made sure not to look at anything, so I don't know anything at all. Uh, but I knew I know about the Perseus because they already like talked about that. And it's been leaked. <clears throat> the RP dynamic is crazy good between you and Kraken's characters. Yeah, I love our I love our we we make a dynamic duo, which uh is really like we we're same minded but also unique, and it allows us to get into different hijinks and stuff while still being like not not being at each other's throats we can like he he wants to do different things and i want to do different things but we have the same goals generally <clears throat> all right boom 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 is this the yeah i'll just disable that okay, wait no that one i keep this one I just say. Alright. Ha! Wake it up for another space day. In space. Actually, I'm not in space. I'm on a planet. You can see it out this window. This game is so fucking beautiful, dude. Holy shit. 
Alright. I wish I could put on my space clothes, but... That's not in yet. the story heavy RP streams that TRP had so Calistro has been such a treat also because it's sci-fi I like it even more yeah I mean I feel super refreshed being able to get into some deep RP again like uh, like the likes of GTA kind of stuff I haven't uh, haven't been in that that scene for a long fucking time let me tell you Oh, sorry. Uh, unbeknown fish. Thank you for a hundred bits. Bullet collector. Thank you for the thirty month. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thirty months is a long fucking time. Thank you so much, bullet collector. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> oh boy. We're going to the Tobin Expo Center, boys. Look, the train just arrived. Not much, but keep up the great oh. content, Papa Lalman. Oh, thank you, Gray Wave, for the epic 420 uh, donation. Thank you so much. I mean, hey, 420 is more than I get from a sub, so I appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, well, I'm not going to do the math, but 250 is what I get from a sub, so 420 is X percent better than a sub. Thank you so much. This train kind of loud. Am I crazy? Also, this shit's going so fast. Oh wait, that might that might induce, like, uh, what is it called? Like the seizure? Fuck, what is it called? Epilepsy? Epilepsy? This is my girlfriend in game. She she's she's always here. We always say hi on the way off the train. She goes a different way to work. Hello. Welcome to the 2019. <laughs> Mega nerd glasses. I don't know. They were like glowy hologram pink. If you're going to have some, dude, fucking rock those. All right. Where are we going? Uh and and yeah, Brian, I did see the the Alex and Kraken story that where are we going? Let's go to Origin Hall first, and then the RSI Hall is the one that just came out today, so. And I, I haven't seen Origin Hall either. But I, I can imagine what's in it, because I know I know this game. You wouldn't know her. She goes to a different school. Yeah. Chat yeah, dude. I said I was done eating, but I still do got some stuffing and turkey on this plate. Mm. <clears throat> he goes to a different planet. You wouldn't know her. Her trade route's different. Ooh. Ooh. Yacht Omega Prime. Ho that, this, this place does not fit that. What were they thinking? How did they even get it in here? Wow. 
Wow. It's crazy to me that this thing is gonna fit on top of my big boat. <laughs> so like, this is I think the biggest boat in the game right now, and mine will eat it. That's the that's a door up there. They had to slant it to fit it inside the hall. Is that true? <laughs> is that is that what's happening? I can't tell. Hmm. The inside of that ship is insane. Yeah, we can go for a little tour. Area 18. 2949. Just saying words now. Audio coming from. Oh, whoa. Oh boy, that's some that's some graphical glitches. Wowie Zowie. Oh, that is bright. My eyes. But I can't look away. I don't know what I'd ever do with one of these. Like, <clears throat> I get it. Like, some people like to just have fancy shit. And don't get me wrong, it's fancy as fuck. But, like, what I do with it? This is your uh, spa area. Wait, is that actually. Is that. Yeah, that's glass. And then under the glass is the. Wow. That's actually such a cool design just in general. <coughs> Space Goldman. I mean, with my other ship and a whole organization of goons fighting by my side, maybe this one day can be mine in game and not with real money because it's like a thousand dollars. Little saunas. Then you got the big pool. I don't know why the, the head keeps bobbing. It's a little dark in here though, you know? I like to... Hot tub can be lights down low, but I like to have lights on for a swimming pool. Personal preference. I feel like I'm gonna drown in a in an all dark swimming pool. I hate that feeling. Alright. He's afraid of swimming. No. I'm afraid uh I'm not even afraid of it really, but like I'm uncomfortable swimming in an all like dark pool. I've done it a, like a few times before. And I remember not liking the feeling of just jumping into an all blacked out swimming pool. Little, little champagne glasses. Little dining area. Little CEO board meeting room. Oh, that's bright. This is where I'm gonna sit. God, that is so bright. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome to the table. How my eyes. Thing have good shields this thing has like best shields actually I think the hammerhead has a little bit better shields but this thing has incredible shields yeah it's huge no dinky little fighters gonna fuck this thing up unless they have all the time in the world and oh, wait I can't leave this way can I 
Oh, wait. Ship. Ship scaling. Here we go. <laughs> Parkour! Whoa, look at the swoop here. I d I've never noticed this before. Except, isn't that like a... Wouldn't that be something for... Uh... Aerodynamics? Actually, no, it wouldn't, because it's down low. What is the point of that? It looks cool. Like, if you're thinking you're the air... Actually, no, that would be... No. I'm wrong. That is still aerodynamic, but... Looks weird. Alright, how do we get down? <laughs> These are the hangers. Can I open this? I imagine there's probably not a button to open it on the top. Yeah. Jump? I really- I don't want to die because then I'm going to wake up in my apartment. Fuck. I thought there'd be a way down out here. My bad. Lift makes sense. Oh yeah, it could be lift. Wait! I see an angle. Here we go. <gasps> oh! Ah, uh, that's see-through, huh? What? <laughs> huh? Okay. Hey, that that works for me, dude. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna go look and see where we can find stuff. Cause I know- we checked out that big boy, but... Let's see, we also got... M50, the 100i, the G12, and the G12A. Oh, the 600i is over there. Let's go- let's go check that out. Check out the 100i, it's right there. Actually, you're right. I haven't been in one yet. I heard that there's like a little bit of interior. Yeah. So this is the cool... This is cool for a ship this size. This is like a fighter size, but it has an interior with a bed. And... Whatever this is. What is this? Is this cargo? A little car... A little, <laughs> a little hangout spot. This is my pillow fort. I close it off when dad takes me flying. This is where bed sleeps. Tiny yacht, tiny yacht. Yeah, I don't know, it's cool that a fighter has a bed. I don't know. But that's all there is to that ship, really. Is it open on the top? No, no. It's got the bubble. Do 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 Ooh, this is the If that's the space yacht, this is the No, I would say that's more like a space cruise, right? With how many people that's gonna be holding? This is the space yacht. I have a better one of those already, but I actually haven't checked out this ship very much. A super yacht, not a cruise ship. All right, whatever, dude. Let's rent this real quick. I'm confused at this one's purpose in life. A versatile, comprehensive away vessel that f features precision control in and out of atmosphere. It's the power of a racer with the reliability of a touring ship. Okay, so it's just like. It's just a touring ship. What? Wait, it put the thing down when I was getting in, dude. I'm dead. Damn, it is... It do be looking kind of fly, though. And not just because it actually literally flies. Somebody pulls up in one of these bad boys. 
What's up, bro? Ooh, hops right down. He doesn't need no ladder. Pretty cool. Where's the minigun? It has a little Gatling laser right there. A repeater thing. And this is the 600i big boat, but not that big of a boat boat. I'm going to rent it in case I ever do want to fly it. Is there... what? Oh, it's like broken. What the fuck? Oh, shit. How do I... help? Oh. Red? How do I open this bitch? There's just a hole. There's just holes in it. There's no way in. Dude. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Wait, is it? This is how it's supposed to be? This little, these two dongles hanging down? That's so ugly. The, the dongles never return? Let's go lower deck. No, they go away? Oh, okay. They should. I've never been in this ship before. I heard it's really pretty. Ooh. Oh, this is a bed? Damn, so you can just fuck on display, huh? Nice. Ooh. Wait. What? <laughs> is this a real hole? Oh no, it's glass. Of course it is. So you can see through. Okay. Hang out, you can see shit below you. That's kind of fun. Wait, this is a ship? Yeah, dude. It feels like these feel like video game levels, but they're moving ships and it's crazy. It's my favorite thing about this game. Like being on the space mega yacht that we we're, were in in the other room when it's flying is just an insane epic gamer moment feeling. Got escape pods here. Can't go in them. Men's room. Ooh, is that a shower head? That looks sick. Damn, I want to take a shower with a shower head that big. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> Immersion is credible. I can't just. I can't just. I just can't justify some of these ships with $500 USD price tag. Oh yeah, no, I agree. I big agree. If I didn't get, like, if I didn't put up a goal and just, like, directly ask chat to fund it for me, I wouldn't have gotten the ship that I got. But I'm happy that I could with their support. I got a fucking $1,500 ship. <laughs> uh, because chat funded it in, like, two days. Do it again! Ooh! Damn, nice view though. Hold on. All the ships that I fly have like, crap in the way. Like, in the windshield. This feels so much nicer. Wow, wait, it goes so far up too! You don't have very good down sight though. But, yeah, the whole like... All of this being open is nice. Your ship, our ship, comrade. Well, it's gonna be the entire organization in game. In fact, you know what I'm super excited for, chat? 
next patch they're introducing the the beginnings of the org systems um so like goldman incorporated business fleet is gonna be uh entering phase one all right let's get out of here <clears throat> Dr. Canada, thank you for the prime sub, bud. Appreciate that a lot. Welcome. I would happily live in any of these ships, including the shuttles. I would live in this ship. Um, You know what? I would even live in this ship. This is a 300i. I guess I'll show you guys real quick. It's a, it's a small ship. I have, like, a racing version of this ship. It, and I like it to go fast. This ship is not bad at all, though. If you're looking to get one, dude. Well, number one, use my referral code if you are getting the game. Number two, this ain't a bad choice, you know? You can hang out in your own little space here. Got your wine glasses, apparently. You got your shitter. And uh, yeah, and then it's also like it performs really well. Like it's a good fighter ship. No shower? Where are you gonna fit a shower in this, dude? You got a sink? Oop. You got a sink, don't you? All right. Let's go down below. I want to go look at the. What do we got? There's the 100i, the M50, the G12, and the G12A. This whole room is just variants of that ship, so like, whatever. Imagine showering in space. Yeah, I mean, besides your own self, what? You're not gonna get dirty. Just, you know, put on a little, uh, put on a little deodorant, and you're fine. There's nothing in space. Space is eternal. That's a, a nice ass racing ship. Used to be my favorite racing ship till uh, I got the other one from referrals that's just faster and better, I think. So, this one's badass, and I like the, uh, the thrusters on this one are fucking huge. And it looks sick when you afterburner, but... Yeah, the Razor. Um... So, and that's another 100i. So, in here is the last thing we're gonna check out for this place oh it's just the sh oh I thought these were already like released these are the in the display hall dude kind of lame this is just the little rover a little rover with a gun on top and this one's probably just a rover without a gun on top oh it's the ooh wait no this one's sick actually I do like this a lot this is the this is the one with the rocket pod this is like that Katyusha Katyusha rover. But yeah, pretty cool. Alright, we're out of here. Now for the real... For the real deal. I think. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's lame. But it's the last... This is the one that just came out today that we're going to. So if you die enough times, you permanently lose your ship that way. Um, I don't. You're, you're not gonna ever lose forever a ship that you bought with money. It might just cost you a lot of in-game credits, so you can't get it right away. Like so, the idea is all these things can be bought with money, right? But in order to operate them and repair them and use them, you're gonna need crew. And 
costs associated with that. So like fuel is going to be a big part of that. Repairs is going to be a massive part of that. Fucking, uh, etc. etc. So like the idea is they've said multiple times that no one is going to be able to operate a capital ship right away, even if they own it. So like, it's not that bad. Oh yeah, ammo is a big part of that. Ooh. Hmm. I like the these ships a lot, but boy howdy, do they just are they are just the buggiest shit ever. However, I've heard good things about the Phoenix, so I kind of want to go in there, like the interior of it. We had the Andromeda for a while. And the Aquila has like a round front. I don't actually know what the Aquila does. Let's look at the rent thing. I think it's a scanning ship. But I like this little rounded cockpit. Expedition. Explore the di any distant horizons. The Constellation Aquila features a redesigned cockpit for maximum visibility, advanced sensors, and an onboard Ursa rover for planetary exploration. Let's see what's out there. Yeah, so like, I feel like the rounded front is just what all of them should be. Because that looks really good and it's really functional. And then there's this one, which has this pointed fucking abomination at the front of it. Um, and you can't see anything. It's just the worst. It is so bad. It is so fucking terrible. So like, if they were all like that, it would just be better. You know, Smallbrain, thanks for giving a sub to a non-burner account for their seven-month resub kick. They were giving a sub to LaFox for their one month. First sub ever. Epic, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Alright. And now... We go uppy. Yeah, okay, I'll show you what I mean. Look how appalling this is to compare this to that that other yacht we were in before and just like look at this Ugh. 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 oh it is so bad bro you like struts dude if if there's one thing that i'm sure of it's that this glass probably won't break because we got a strut holding our struts I mean, we got, we got struts on our struts, in between our struts, between our struts. We literally have a strut on the struts, between the two struts. Fuck this. Oh, shit. Vlad, thank you for 10 gifted subs. Appreciate it a lot. Um, but I heard the good thing about the interior is over here. Okay, let me, let me scroll my walking speed down. This one's supposed to feel like a luxury airliner instead of a luxury ship, if that makes sense. Like, instead of a luxury boat, it's like a luxury plane. Which, I think they nail pretty fucking well. This would be so comfy. And I love these long side panes right here. The other ones don't have that. Vlad got Uick? Oh, dude. Dude, nice fucking shot, bro. Nice hit! Boom! Got you in. Uh, Bop Bop, thank you for the Prime resub for nine months in a row. Appreciate that a lot as well. This is a nice bar, too. Ooh. Give me some of that Leviathan Reserve. They got any rum on this thing? Ah, yeah. Give me the Cathcart Widow. What's that? Hold on, we're gonna have to enhance. Oh, it's just bitters. What is? I can't tell if that's supposed to be text or not, or just decoration.
Tavarin ghosts. Unaged Tavarin rye. Tavarian rye. White whiskey Elysium. Are these. Wait. Ghost bottle. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is that? Alright. Cool. And then. What is this? Is this some sort of game table? Or. God, it's so bright I can't even tell. Wait, that's a chair inside. What? Huh? I thought this was like a ping pong table or some shit. That's a chair inside the table. What? Sit? I can't. I was trying to. I wanted to see if I would just die or whatever. What is this? That's the bed? Bro, I can see that. I can see straight up in there, dude. I don't like that at all. Ooh. Jacuzzi. Although... As a, as a full-grown man myself, I can tell you right now, everyone's knees gonna be touching in this thing. And this is the little fighter you can hop in, which is actually one of the coolest things about this ship that made me want to keep it, but I can't justify holding on to this ship because it's just so broken. But this thing, like, you drop down, just like, Doo! and then fucking fire up your own fighter. It's so cool. touch knees. Who wants to touch knees, dude? Raise hand. Ooh, this is comfy. This reminds me of my dorm room. <laughs> like my dorm bed, at least. I didn't have a fucking amazing fish tank above my head. Why is it foggy? I think it was like a... Oh, oh. I think it was like a... Humidifier or some shit? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright. What else we got? Ooh. So this is the main event right here. The Perseus. Is the thing they just announced. And I think there's a video of it somewhere? Is there actual gameplay? Is all just show up? Yeah, there's gameplay. This is something. This is just a place that I went to in game. This is just an in game event happening. So if I go to the map, we're on the planet Microtech right now, which is where the event is being held. And this Microtech has three moons that you can all go to. And if you zoom out more, there's little asteroid clusters you can go to. There's Delamar, Crusader, uh, Hurston, Arc Corp, and all these places have their own little orbiting things. Um, right now the main... Oh, there's also like missions and shit you can do. So, you know. Can investigate clients. I don't even know. I don't know what all these are anymore. Supply re-up. This gameplay. It's not a ton, if we're being honest. But like, we we had a lot of fun when uh, myself, Bed, and the gang played and made that video. Checking out the expo and it's just the music or something. Yeah, uh, Sam was. Let me see. Has he replied further? Sam said he wanted to do some uh, some league, so we might do some league. I don't know. Ooh, 
this is a little oh hello sir this is the rover this is the ursa rover right yeah yo i would play some league yo that'd be poggers dude And then, all right, and here's what I'm excited for, dude. I haven't seen this ship really, um, not this one. This is the T Constellation Taurus, which I also don't really understand what it is. Medium freight, um, the adventure of a multi-crew constellation on a budget. It's a dedicated freighter, fully configurable without all the bells and whistles. Of course, it's a great way to get started with crewed ships. So it's just a worse version. Yikes. I don't... No, why you'd ever pick this one. <laughs> but okay. There's three better models upstairs. Now, here it is, baby. This is the ship that just got announced. And it is very big. I know we it's hard to tell with holograms, but... Uh, that's a docking collar, I believe. So, like, that's how big a person is. Is... About from if like a human height's like that, so that's a person, and then zoom out, and that's a big motherfucking gun. <laughs> or actually, a better example this that's the bridge, so like person size is about that. I don't really... The barrel's smaller than I thought. I thought this was the barrel, but then that's the barrel, so it's like... It's kind of deceiving. It's actually not that big of a gun. I hope they keep making bigger ships that cost as much as a car instead of making a video game. I mean, they're doing both. I I get it. That's a fair criticism. I won't... I won't... I won't refute that. But... I'm excited for the content they do make. We got boosters. That's a turret right there, I guess. Yeah, you can see it better from over here. Little mini guns on it. Mini guns up there. Overall, I like this ship, but like, all it does is big gun. Oh, it has some down there too. So all it does is has those big two turrets on it, which, I'm, that, that piques my interest, but if I wanted to buy a big gun, dude, I'd just buy a big gun. Ooh, that's a nice front silhouette though. I like that. That's intimidating. I should have shown you guys the Kraken. Oh, wait. I have a desktop background of as the Kraken right now. Hang on. Um, I took this at the Drake one that I didn't go to on stream. Now it's not now it's my background. But uh this one for reference, this is the docking collar. So a person's about the size of my mouse right here. So you can imagine they get in right here, they're about the size of my mouse. And they're walking into the ship like that, and then <laughs> they're in the ship through this little hallway. Um, and this can fit two medium-sized ships. This can fit four smalls, and then another large ship on top all the way along that of the aircraft carrier. Yeah, a big fucking boy. All right. Um, boop. Epic games equals shit. Uh, that was a long time ago, but I don't... I, I still agree with that sentence. I fucking hate Epic games. They're... Everything about their launcher is so bad. It's so poorly optimized. It's It feels laggy using a launcher, which shouldn't feel possible. Like, it's got bad download speeds. I hate that they poach fucking games off the market. Like, they buy them out. Steam just, like, has exclusives because they're a place to release them. Epic Games just fucking 
throws down as much money as they can to buy out games. Um, what is this? The Polaris. Oh, this is another fucking sick one. This one has... You can't see it. Oh, wait. If I do this, maybe. Whoop. Whoop. How do I do this? Whoop. So this one has a... Shit. Has a hanger on top. God, how do I... How am I going to do this? <laughs> There's a hanger on top of this one, basically, is what I'm saying. And this one's also a very large boat. Uh, these are, like, gun size. You can imagine a person is about this big. So this is another big one. That's the cockpit right there. And then that can fit one small or medium ship inside it. I forget. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly big one. Seems cool. It's a little too expensive for me to get one. I don't want it, really, but... Cool boats. Alright. That's about that, then. Uh, take the for gifting a sub to Marshipoo for their 10-month reset DuPont. Big things. It can comfortably fit a Gladius. Okay, yeah, so it's a big, big ship, but it's not like a capital ship or anything. a good space con, boys. Cool. Alright. I'm done. I'm gonna go see if Sam is around. Gmart, if you wanna play, I'm down. Um, da -da -dum 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 -dum. Swap now, friend, if you'd like to jam. And then I'll go to. I'll just go to Kraken's Discord. Yeah. Is that an individual instance? No one else was there? There was somebody that ran by. <clears throat> Stream for honor. Boy, I, had, I ain't streamed that game in so long. What are you talking about? I'm going to pull up a Spotify playlist because while I have made like five songs or four, four, four or five songs, it's not enough to last a whole jam sesh. Luckily, I got jams on backup. Is it league time now? I believe so. Unless Sam isn't around. This is Spotify. This is a it's a free playlist. You can put royalty free stuff and DMCA free stuff on Spotify. That's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. edit stream info. We're gonna be calling this stream now. League. Open this up. Funky Wrench, thank you for the 10 month Prime resub. I keep forgetting about Prime. Wait, you keep forgetting about Twitch Prime? Or no, it's called Prime Gaming now? <laughs> it, it, well, let me tell you. You just go ahead and use your Amazon Prime account to click a button and subscribe to the channel for free. Wow. All right. Cool. I got 
extremely exhausted trying to get that sentence out of me. I don't know what it was. <clears throat> Whoa. Dude, I got it. I got it.